Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Kodash, which is to say the only true name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and efforts of waking up the hopeful elect. And to the believers and the few sisters that watch, I say shalom to you as well. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay. Now, what I want to speak on in this lesson is, um, you know, what, what, what is actually taking place in the earth as far as it uh, concerns the believers. OK, uh, this is this is not self-willed. OK, um, we say it all the time. None of us, you know, just woke up one day and said, you know what? I want to be a prophet. You know, I want to I want to I want to be a part of great millstone under the elder apostles. You know, and, and the men on down and the bishops and, you know, I want to go and, you know, hazard my life, you know, and, you know, prophesy to the wind most of the time, you know, and, um, you know, ultimately receive salvation. No, not, not nobody in this ministry. That was nobody's mindset. OK. Um, and the reason is because, uh, as the scriptures tell us, the Heavenly Father had declared the end from the beginning. OK, so that means everything from the beginning and in between all the way until the end has already been scripted. You see, and those of us who've been called into this thing. OK, uh, this is not of our will, <laughs> you know, and that's what's extremely humbling about it, you know, because it's not a thing of you can go sign up, you know, like these other, you know, pseudo Israelite groups. You know, you can go sign up and, you know, uh, give your information and pay a fee. Nah, that's. You don't see that anywhere in the scriptures, okay, when you read the Gospels or when Yahweh Shai was doing his ministry, okay, or the Apostle Paul or the disciples. You don't, you don't hear none of that shit, man, okay, or even in the Old Testament, okay? Men were moved by the Spirit of the Heavenly Father back then, and they're being moved by the Spirit of the Heavenly Father right now, okay? And that's period, point blank, okay? And that's what uh, a lot of people, it's hard for a lot of people to grasp that, okay, because they think this is... Uh, you know, something that was formulated by man and something that man uh, uh, formulated in his mind. And I'll say this, you know, anybody that teaches their Israelite, OK, well, they got their beginnings from going all the way back to Elder Abba Bivens. OK, because he's the first man that the most High put the spirit on to bring this word out in truth and sincerity. OK, now were certain things faulty in the doctrine. Yeah. OK, but they've been refined. OK, and that's why here at Great Millstone, we say we have 100 percent truth. OK, why? Because you you, you need when, when it comes to this word. OK, you need 100 percent truth of it. OK, because why? The scripture said what? I have given you an unction to know all things that unction, the word unction means anointing. So there are certain men that have been anointed with 100 percent understanding of the scriptures. OK, and we hey, we raise our hand. We say us. OK, and that's not a thing of pride. Why? Because like I said, this is not a thing of man. The most high imparted this knowledge, wisdom and understanding to us, to his election. Lord willing, with those men. OK, just as he's blinded those, he doesn't want to receive it. OK, but the key point that this is of the most high. OK, this ain't a man. And since I quoted it. Let's get it. Uh, this is a will. We'll start at 29. This is Acts 5 and 29. OK, and this is the account where, you know, the Peter and the apostles, uh, you know, we're teaching, going around teaching, hey, doing exactly what we do now. OK, but the difference is, you know, we pretty much in a stationary position. OK, we, you know, uh, the apostles were going from different places to different places, making voyages, you know, um, you know, but here in these last days, uh, you know, we have stationary points and we, we go out and do pretty much do the same thing that they were doing. OK. But this is uh, and obviously they received backlash and flack for what they were teaching. Why? Because as the scriptures say, they hate of him that rebuke of in the gate. OK, especially when you teach a doctrine that's contrary to the one they've been made to believe. OK, which, um, you know, which which, uh, you know, like how people love to have comfort and, you know, want uh, 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 things to be lax and, and pretty much like the heathens, you know. 
But no, the, the 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 doctrine had you know the true doctrine had had, had you know um, had been taught okay by our Lord Yahweh Shai to the twelve okay and then what did they do? Hey, they went and taught others okay so it started to uh, expand this truth you see and mainly those wicked scribes and wicked Pharisees why because you know all the Pharisees weren't wicked. You know, all the scribes weren't wicked and all the high priests weren't wicked, but you had wicked ones amongst them, you know, and they were in their feelings just like these 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 wicked leaders today. OK, these wicked Israelite group leaders today, they're in their feelings and they're mad because we're teaching the true doctrine. And, you know, the, the true doctrine hey, it is it can get spicy, you know, for lack of better words, you know, uh, it could get offensive. But our Lord, Yahweh Shah said, blessed is he who is not offended in me. You see, the scriptures say, cry loud and spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Israel their sins, right? Meaning what? Don't, don't spare nobody feeling. Tell them exactly what the Lord said. He going to kill your ass if you continue to eat pork. I don't care how you feel about it. You might have a pork chop sandwich in your hand. Hey, the Lord will kill you for doing that. Have a cigarette in your mouth. The Lord will kill you for that. Cry loud and spare not, okay? And guess what? If you're not part of the election, you're going to get butt hurt by it and you're going to you're going to buck up. And that's what we're reading in this account. So Acts 5 and 29 says, then Peter and the because they told him. Matter of fact, let's get 28. Uh, Acts 5 and 28, it says, saying, did not we uh, straightly uh, command you that ye should not teach in this name? OK, and what name is that? Yahweh Shah. You see, people don't receive flack for saying Jesus, <laughs> you know. They get flack for saying Yahweh Shai, even amongst the other uh, other Israelite groups that know that uh, 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 you know um, that know that they're Israelites. Okay, <clears throat> it says uh, it says saying, "Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine." You see, so it was it was it was it was it was blossoming. OK, it was spreading to who? To the believers. Everybody wasn't, you know, taking hold to it as we're reading. You see, it says and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Verse 29, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey the most high rather than man. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Verse 31, him have the most high exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Right. So, you know, the whole act of our Lord, Yahweh Shah being crucified and being a sacrifice, being that sacrificial lamb for the house of Israel. OK, it was specific, was specifically for the children of Israel. OK, this is one of those Israel only scriptures. You see, he didn't die for the, the Edomites, the so-called white man or the Japanese or the uh, or the Chinese or is or the, the Muslims. He didn't die for them. He died for the children of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians and Haitians, and they that be of the speckled bird whose bloodline go back to the children of Israel who may look like to other nations. That's who he died for, period, point blank. OK, you can't add or take away from that. Verse 32, it says, and we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom the Most High have given to them that obey him. You see, verse 33, it says, when they heard that they were cut to the heart <laughs> and took counsel to slay them. You see, you see, so this is, a, this has always been a part of the heritage of the nation of Israel, sadly, you know, but hey, hey, it's a necessary evil. Okay, why? Because you're going to have those that are for it and you're going to have those that oppose it. Period, point blank. Ain't no gray area in between. If you feel like, well, I got, they got good points, or they got good points, well, that means you're in your middle, you're in the middle, and you're going to be destroyed. Okay? Lord is saying, pick a side. Verse 34. Then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel. Okay, or Gamal in the Hebrew, Gamaliel. Right? Uh, it says, a doctor of the law. Had in reputation. So I'll read it again. It says, uh, verse 34, there stood there, uh, then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a, a doctor of the law, had in 
had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. Verse 35 and said unto them, ye men of Israel, uh, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. Verse 36. And here's we get to the point now. Verse 36. It says, For before these days rose up uh, uh, Thutis, boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves. Okay? So 400 men joined themselves unto him. It says, Who, who was slain uh, was slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught verse 37 and this man rose up uh, and this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him he also perished and all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed Verse 38. OK, so he's giving examples of men, OK, who rose up and say, look, I'm the, I'm the man. I, this is the way. Follow me. OK, D look, this is the doctrine. This is the truth. Let's go. D d let's, let's do it this way. And what happened? He got their ass smashed. OK, and then their, their flock got scattered. You see. <laughs> Verse 38, it says. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of man, it will come to naught. You see? And that's the point. Okay? If this counsel is of man, it's going to come to naught. You see? But we're, I'm here to tell you, okay, here at Great Millstone, this is a, 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 a this is not a man. Okay? And I'm not saying this because I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a, a, a active uh, a participant i don't want to say member because this ain't no this ain't no group you know what i'm saying this is this is uh uh the representation of the house of david coming back together man okay and we boldly profess that and this is we say that in all humility okay why because the scriptures prophesied that the house of david was going to come back together okay and, it, and it's going to start over here in americas okay uh the scriptures speak about in malachi how he was going to send us elijah the prophet before the great and ter uh, dreadful day in the coming of the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, well, we, hey, did, we're on the cusp of it. So guess what? Elijah came back, and he came back, and we wholeheartedly believe as Elijah, I mean, Salakia, as Elder Abba Bivens. You see, to do what? To turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers. That's been done. We know who we are now. We know the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai. We know the true doctrine. We know the Lashawan Kadash. You know? And that's all through the spirit. Why? Because it ain't a man. It's of the most high. That's how he's always dealt. Luke, the first chapter. The most high has spoken to his prophet since uh, 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 the world began. Uh, spoken to the people through his prophets since the world began. Okay? And the, But the reality is people do not believe in a higher power. Okay? They don't believe that, you know, the most high actually does these things. Okay? But the sun and the moon rise and set every day, you know, and, 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 and you know the seasons change <laughs> you know the ecosystem works even though esau edom is destroying it it still works okay life is being created okay the human body is one of the greatest marvels on the planet how your heart beats without you doing anything okay but yet and still he can't pour his spirit out upon certain men to prophesy and, and, and warn the people from the heavenly father okay and tell the heathens what's about to happen you see, this ain't a man, because if it was a man, it'll come to naught. And we're seeing that with a lot of these Israelite groups, okay? Mainly with the, uh, 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 who is that, uh, ICJGC, uh, uh, this, uh, the guy formerly known as Tazadaki, who the Lord took out of here, okay? We call him Comfy. The Lord took him out of here, man. And Apostle Taha always said that. The Most High is going to break them things up. And now we're in the season, and it's going to happen, Okay? Why? Because they're waxing worse and worse. Wicked men and seducive spirits shall wax worse and worse. And we're seeing it. everybody's getting away from the name and everybody's getting away from the truth of the scriptures. Why? Because they've been taught. OK, all these leaders, they come up under one West. OK, so you learn from Elder Abba Bivens 
uh, Elder Aria and the men on down. Period, point blank. It's just that the reality is a lot of these guys uh, 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 were called, but as it stands, they're not chosen, okay, unless they repent, okay? Why? Because they're perverting the doctrine, and that's punishable by death, okay? So it's showing. Those groups are, are failing, okay? Why the house of David is waxing stronger and stronger. Why? Because the, their congregations are set up by men, okay? Apostle Tahar don't put no recruiting papers out and go to Africa and go here and go there. No, no, no. They stay right there at their hub in New York and teach the word. Okay? And that's how uh, 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 the, the, the house of David is being built up. Okay? Let's get this. This is... Uh Bear with me. Bear with me. This is Proverbs. What do we want? Okay, Proverbs 16. Oh. Proverbs 16. I believe it's 9. This is Proverbs chapter 18, 16, Salakia. Let me see. You got Proverbs 16, verse 9. It says, A man's heart deviseth his way, but Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai directeth his steps. Okay? So that 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 seals it right there. Now one may say, Well, well, you know, these are other groups. Okay, well, the most high order in their steps too. Well, the scriptures tell you that what? If a prophet, uh 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 roughly paraphrasing, um, if a prophet, uh, you know, tells a lie, the most high has given him a deceiving spirit. OK, so, yeah, yeah. The most high is ordering both sides of this this narrative. OK, and it's for the true believers, the true worship worshipers to discern between who has the truth and who doesn't. And how do you do that? The scriptures tell us what to try the spirit by the spirit, meaning what the men that you see teaching that proclaim to be the men of the Lord. OK, well, compare what they're saying to the Holy Bible. OK, and trust every brother that's sincerely walking in this ministry has done that. OK, and I'll speak for myself, you know, initially coming out, you know, I, I ran across the apostles in a scoff video and it turned me away from them. You know, I was like, I don't know. And I'm, I'm I mean, I don't know. I know I'm an Israelite. OK. Mm. I, I, I'm, yeah, I knew the name, you know, but that, that was about it. You know, I, I was a newbie, 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 you know. And that video I saw, it was like, you know, when they called the, the Jamaican woman, when they were calling her a slut, you're a slut, you're a slut. And then the Apostle Ramlob just went on a tangent and just went spazzing. And, you know, and I'm new to this and I'm like, ah, I don't know, you know. So I started to watch other groups, you know, GOCC, ISUPK, IUIC, you know. But in the meantime, I'm still reading the scriptures. I'm still, you know, being a student and I'm asking the Heavenly Father to sincerely give me the truth, you know. And, you know, hey, the Wadi Yahabba Shemiah Shah. He uh, put the spirit on me to be diligent, and eventually, it led me right back to the apostles. Okay, why? Because the things that I was hearing from these other groups didn't line up with what I was reading in the scriptures. Okay, the majority of things I was reading about were prophecy and things that were going to happen in the last days, and none of these guys were talking about those things. Neither were they talking about how you can prevent it. I mean, how you can be preserved in those times. You know, and ultimately, it led me right back to the elder apostles. Hey, but why do you how about Shimei was shy? Okay, but I read this again, Proverbs sixteen and nine. A man's heart deviseth his way, but you how about Shimei was shy directeth his steps. You see, so uh, just proving what and bringing out this this thing that we're part of, it ain't a man. Okay, this ain't uh, this ain't of uh, Elder Apostle Tahar. Okay, and when you really look at it, you know, and I say this in all humility, it ain't it's not it wasn't about Elder Abba Bivens. Okay. And if you were to ask him, he'd tell you, no, it's, it's, it's all about Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. You see, he's the one that's pouring the spirit. When you read these scriptures, he says, I will do this. I will call them. I will pour my spirit. I will do this. You see? <clears throat> and that's what people don't understand. Okay, and they're looking at it like, oh, these camp, this, this camp stuff, this camp that. Man, look, 
Yahweh Shai was in the camp, had a camp, okay? The, uh, the Apostle Paul had camp Moses, you know, when they said he went without the camp, you see? But it just shows you these people, hey, uh, you know, ultimately, the Most High has imparted understanding and wisdom unto them, okay? So let's get uh, Isaiah, okay? And show you how this happens, because like I, I mentioned, you know, our apostles don't go around from city to city recruiting guys. OK, actually, you is a vetting process for you to uh, be a part of Great Millstone. OK. And, and, and it's already set in place, you know, and, 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 and guess how much it costs? Free ninety nine. OK. But the scriptures do say buy the truth and sell it not. How do you buy the truth? With your time. You know, with your time, with your effort. OK. With your diligence. That's how you buy the truth. Okay? Because it says what? Buy the truth and sell it not. <laughs> you see? <clears throat> he that have ears, let him hear. So this is uh, Isaiah chapter 34. Yep, Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and read. No one of these shall fail meaning what none of the prophecies gonna fail none of them have and none of them will okay everything that is written is is playing out exactly how the lord said it would okay the least of the flock uh uh, uh being drawn out okay the least of the flock drawing them out hey well that's happening that's uh, with israel okay and the j the j double zeros okay it's happening you know and and, and bb not a not a you Okay, just uh, just uh, said that. Look, hey, well, uh, we as Israel, we stand alone. Okay, which we know that that's not true. Okay, that's not true. They, they, remember now, he's an Edomite. Okay, and their their uh, uh, main uh, attribute, okay, is deception. Okay, because we know when shit hits the fan, they're not gonna stand alone. Okay, because that's not what the prophecies say. You see, but point is, none of them are gonna fail, right? And that's how we know. We call we call him BS. We call him your bluff, BB. <laughs> but it says, none shall want her mate. Right? You can't mate any book. You can't line any book up with the Bible. Nothing compares. Okay? Because those books were a man. This is not a man. Okay? It was written by a man. Because people say, ah, oh, that book was written by a man. Well, what book? What what book wasn't written by a man? Okay? Unless it was written by a woman. You know? But the scriptures tell you these scriptures were given by inspiration of the Most High. Men were moved by the Spirit of the Most High. Okay, just like they're being moved with the Spirit of the Most High right now. It says, For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit, and his spirit, let me read that again because this is the point. Verse uh, Isaiah 34 and 16, it says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh by Shema Shai and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded and his spirit it have gathered them. Okay. And what is his spirit? This word. Okay. This word is what has gathered us. You see? Right. And, and so proving that it's, it's not a man, you know, because like I said earlier, look, none of us woke up and said we wanted to do this. Okay, a lot of brothers, you know, were, were, were headed this way in life or that way. Okay, but the Lord said, "Ah, uh -uh, grab him by a shirt collar and say, come this way. You, like the scripture say, you'll hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. You see, it didn't say, you're going to wake up one day and then you're just going to have an epiphany. Yeah, I want to be a prophet. I want to stand on a, a, a street corners, you know, and be mocked and ridiculed saying I got a dress on in the hot sun or in the brick coal, you know. And, and prophesied to the wind most of the time, at least in the present, because we always put shows up on the on the YouTube, you know. And uh, you know, has in my life, and, and you know, be public enemy number one in the sight of Esau, Edom. None of us woke up and said that. The Lord has put put us in this, okay. And the great news is that if you're sincere and you're of the election, you haven't been appointed to wrath. Now persecution is gonna come, you know. Persecution is gonna come, but like I like the scriptures say. He hasn't appointed us to wrath, okay? The Most High didn't call us in this thing to just destroy us, man, okay? So the same person that pulled us out of the world and put it in, put us in this thing, if we endure until the end, he's going to be the same one that, 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 that saves us, man. 
Okay, and that's our hope. That's our expectation. What else? Okay, because if it ain't that, it's death. Here's another one. This is Baruch chapter 5, verse 5. It says, Arise, O Jerusalem. It says, Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about toward the east, and behold, thy children gathered from the west. Right, the west being what? The uttermost part of the earth, meaning here in the Americas. Okay, and it's the main hub of salvation. Okay, now obviously Israelites, our brothers are scattered all over. Okay, the elect are scattered all over and they will be redeemed from wherever they are. Okay, like we read in uh, Jeremiah 16. Um, you know, but the main hub is here in the West. Okay, but it says, look toward the East. What's in the East? Israel. Okay, Jerusalem, the motherland. Okay, and that's why we pray facing the East. It says, and behold, thy children are gathered from the West unto the east by by thy by the word of the holy one you see how we gather by the word of the holy one rejoicing in the remembrance of the most high you see so this ain't a man this is by the word now do men stand out on the highways and hedges and preach it and then we hear it of course how else we gonna hear it most high ain't when you go in your closet ain't sending a, a message talking to you that ain't, that ain't how it works. Of course, he's going to speak through his men. Like I quoted Luke, the first chapter. He speaks through his prophets. Okay? But he, key point, he speaks through his prophets. Okay? We're just mortal men that have to get up and go to work every day. Okay? That have infirmities. You know? It's the spirit within us. Okay? That compels us to do these things, man. That's why we always open up a video and say what? what first, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? And it's amazing, man. And it, it's humbling and it gives you fuel to keep going. Because you realize, like, it, this is impossible. When you read the scriptures, when you're a scholar of the scriptures, okay, or a student of the Bible, you realize that was that's the most stupidest shit you can say that a man man came up with this. It's impossible. Okay? And that's why the scriptures tell you to preach it precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Why? Because then you see the, 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 the just the, the divine nature of the scriptures and how, you know, that it's impossible for a, a, a man or men to sit down and conjure this up. It's impossible because how it all lines up, man. OK, like, for example, you read about the serpent in the garden in Genesis. Well, you don't really get the full understanding of who that serpent is until you get to the book of Revelation. It gives you the answer of what that serpent is or who it is. Okay? Just showing you the divine nature of the scriptures, man. Okay? But let's uh let's close out with this one. This ain't a man. I I'm I, I can wholeheartedly tell you that this ain't a man. Okay, because I was heading a whole nother direction in life, just like a lot of other brothers were. Whether it been well, if you weren't serving your how about Shemal Shah, no matter what you doing, okay, you you were headed, you were up headed up Shit's Creek with no paddle. Okay, and there was a waterfall at the end. Okay. But the Lord saw fit to pull us into this thing, man. So you know, we, we, we got to go hard for 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 Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Okay. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 37. Okay, and obviously we know this is about the Valley of the Dry Bones, okay, which is a representation of the nation of Israel. Okay, in the state that we were in, dehydrated, you know, not having this truth. Okay, the water. Okay, the nutrients, you know, uh, that we needed and we were dead. You know, we were dead. Like the scriptures say, the dead body shall lie in the streets of the place that is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Okay. Okay. But hey, through uh, the spirit being poured out. Okay. Going all the way back to Elder Bob, Abba Bivens, those bones started to come together and we're going to read it. Right. It says. Uh, Uh, we'll start. We'll start uh, at the top. It says, "The hand of Yahweh by Shema, Ezekiel thirty-seven and one. It says, the hand of Yahweh by Shema Shai was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai and set me down in the midst of the valley 
which was full of bones and caused me to pass by and, to, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there was very many. Uh, there was very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Yahweh, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh, you see? So like we read in Baruch, the fifth chapter, in Isaiah, 34th chapter, the word is about the word. It ain't about man. It ain't about Bishop Nathaniel. Okay. It ain't about uh, 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 the elder Raka, okay, or whatever this bozo name of Fopi or Alazar, okay. It ain't about them. Hey, it ain't about Elder Apostle Taha. It's about Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It's about the word, okay. But I right, double honest to our Elder Apostle Taha, okay. The, the the leader, the the top man in Israel, okay. But he'll tell you, it ain't about me. It's about the spirit. It's about the truth. It's about the word, right? Verse 5, it says, Thus saith Yahweh Shem Yahushai unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter. You see, the key point, I, behold, I will call, meaning the most high. Not Bishop Nathan, you give you a starter kit. Okay? Give you a starter kit and, and, and have you pay a fee, you know, and have, them get, have you give over your IP address. And all this other man and get marriage counseling and have another man tell you how to deal with your woman. Fuck out of here, man. There ain't nowhere in the scriptures. It says, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. Verse six. And I see the most high and I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you, uh, upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You see? So this ain't a man. The Most High is doing all this. Okay? And what we're reading is the processes of us, you know, being being born again. Okay? Now, obviously, this is a parable. We weren't actually bones just scattered all over. This is parabolically speaking. Okay? But once this word entered into us, then we, we became alive. You say, then I, I, put the I will put the breath in you. What is the breath? Ultimately, the name, you know, Yahweh, okay, and the true understanding that comes with this doctrine, okay. Verse seven, it says, "So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them." And the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the, to the wind, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Shai, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon, up upon their, uh, upon their feet, an exceeding great army. You see? So this is all via Yahweh Bashim Shah. He was the one doing everything. This is not of us. Okay, people look at it, oh, they, they think they're this, they think that they're, they're saying they got 100% truth. Yeah, because the, the Heavenly Father's put the Spirit on us to say these things. And we can back it up in the Scriptures. Now, do we, hey, the scriptures talk about, look, I'll read it again. It says, and the breath incident to them, they live and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. You see? And the scriptures talk about us being bold and in, in, in boldness. Yeah, and, and that's offensive to a lot of people, okay? A, a, a black, so-called black, Latino, or Native American man, or a West Indian, or Haitian man. Okay, standing up on his feet in boldness with his with an austere look about him, that that caused people to tremble, man. Okay, and, and, and instead of hearkening to it, they buck up at uh, buck up against it. You see, 
But we we say it all the time. All praises be to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. We're just mortal men. Okay? We, hey, we're just the messengers, baby. We're just the messengers. And we got a message. Okay? And it's repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay? So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. And, um, you know, I believe I hit the point. And Lord willing, it was edifying. Okay? Hey, this ain't of man. This is all of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Okay? And for the true believers... Is going to continue to manifest and then lord willing we're beamed up and attract the beam and on a chariot okay with our lord yahweh shah man okay so just keep fighting keep pushing man uh kwam yasharala shalawan